guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a 20 minute yoga inspired stretching series. Great for beginners, it's gonna help you wake up and feel more energized to tackle your day. You are gonna need a mat or a soft piece of carpet or even some grass outside if you wanna go outside. I'm taking advantage of a lovely day. This is the second day of April, I think, here in Bermuda and the weather is beautiful. If you're ready to get started, let's do this. Hey guys, so we're gonna start out on our backs today. So go ahead and find a comfortable lying down position, allowing your arms to rest by your sides and your feet to flop outwards. Try to take up as much space here as you come into your breath. So inhaling, feeling your chest rise and exhale, releasing any tension coming into the present moment. A few more breaths here. And on your next inhale, I want you to start bringing some movement into your fingers and your toes, pointing and flexing if that feels good. And then inhaling, taking your arms overhead to come into a full body stretch, making yourself as long as possible and then exhaling, release. We're gonna do that one more time. So inhale, reaching fingertips and toes away from each other. And then exhale, big breath out. And then inhaling, taking your right knee towards your chest, hugging your shin in towards you, bringing some movement into the right ankle, rolling the ankle in one direction, and then switching directions, going the other way, pointing and flexing, getting out any kinks in your ankle and your toes. And then on your next inhale, slowly straighten the leg up toward the sky, gently pulling it towards your chest to bring a stretch in the back of your leg, continuing to find the movement that your body needs as you wake up through all the little muscles in your foot. And then we're gonna make the stretch a little bit more active. So start bringing your leg towards you, keeping a bend in the knee if this is early in the morning and your body is still feeling a little stiff. And if you'd like a little bit more, you can peel the shoulders up off the mat and try to kiss your nose to your knee, really waking up the hamstrings. And then releasing down, giving your knee one last squeeze in towards your chest. And now we're gonna come into a spinal twist. So taking that right knee over to the left, right arm extending, gaze over the right fingertips. Breathing deeply here as you sink into what is a delightful stretch. I really like this one. And last breath, inhaling back to center, giving that right knee a nice squeeze into your chest. And then extending the right leg down, we're gonna switch over to the left leg. So bringing the left knee into the chest, giving it a little squeeze, and then starting to roll the ankle. Pointing and flexing, switching directions, getting out any crunchies, any cricks, cracks in those toes. And on your next inhale, very slowly lengthen the leg up toward the sky, gently pulling on the back of the calf as you come into some more ankle rolls and some pointing and some flexing. And if you'd like to make this a little bit more active, Feel free to increase the pressure on your leg, bringing it ever so slightly towards your chest, peeling your shoulders up off the mat and kissing your nose to your knee. Deep breaths here. And releasing, hugging your left knee into your chest. We're gonna come into a spinal twist. So taking the left knee over to the right, extending the left arm, gaze towards the left fingertips. 
with every exhale trying to sink a little bit deeper into the twist. One final inhale. And exhale, bringing the left knee toward the chest one more time. And then the right knee also to meet it, curling yourself into a ball, bringing your nose up towards your knees, giving yourself a big hug. And then extending your feet and your arms, pointing through the fingertips and the toes, one last full body stretch. And when you're ready, rolling onto one side and pressing up into a seated position. So cross-legged if that's cool for your knees or feel free to keep your legs extended out in front of you. And just coming into your breath again, maybe you close your eyes, rest your hands on your knees or on your lap, allowing your shoulder blades to slide down your back, lots of length between your ears and your shoulders. And on your next inhale, you're going to place your left hand on the ground to your side and reach your right arm up and over to come into a side bend, feeling the stretch all along the right side of your body. And then inhaling, we're gonna to come to center. And then exhale, right hand down, left reaches up and over, stretching through the left side. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, fingertips up toward the sky. And then again, left hand plants and see if you can reach just a little bit further this time. Inhaling and exhaling. We're gonna come forward with our hands like the hands on a clock, slowly walking through center, pausing in the center just to give ourselves a back stretch. And then continuing to walk the hands like the hands of a clock all the way over to the other side coming into the side bend for the left side of the body big inhale and on your exhale walking your hands out in front of you again to come into a seated forward fold reaching through the fingertips every inhale lengthening through the crown of your head and every exhale, allowing yourself to sink into the stretch. Awesome. So slowly walk your hands towards your body to come into a seated position. This time we're gonna gaze up toward the sky, inhaling, stretching through the front of the neck, and then exhaling, curling, looking down, stretching through the back of the neck inhaling once more looking up and exhale looking down we're gonna build upon this movement now so taking the fingertips forward gaze is still down arching through the upper back and then on your inhale you're gonna open your arms out to the side Puff up your chest, gaze up toward the sky, almost like we're doing a seated cat cow. So on the exhale, reaching forward, fingertips in front of you, like you're casting a spell. And then inhaling, sitting up tall, arms out toward the side, gazing upwards, really opening through the chest. And one more time coming forward, reaching through the fingertips, arching through the upper back. and then sitting up nice and tall, shaking it out if you need to. And we're gonna make our way to an all fours position. So find a tabletop, shoulders above wrists, hips above knees. And on your inhale, taking the right arm up toward the sky, reaching through the fingertips, and then exhaling to thread the right arm through the hole between your knees and your left hand, right shoulder coming down to the mat, and if you want a little bit more here, you can reach the left fingertips up toward the sky to increase the pressure on that right shoulder. Deep breaths here.
On your next inhale, left hand finds the mat, right fingertips reach up toward the sky, one more big stretch. And then instead of planting that right hand, we're going to reach it out in front of you and come into a balancing table. So left leg extends behind, gaze slightly toward the front of your mat, don't crink your neck. And breathing here, working your balance a little bit, lengthening the spine. And last breath, coming back to an all fours position, we're gonna switch over to the other side. Left fingertips reaching up toward the sky. Big breath here. And then exhaling, threading it through, left shoulder finding the mat. Big breath. And if you'd like, inhaling to reach the right fingertips up toward the sky and deepen the shoulder stretch. Inhaling to plant the right fingertips on the mat again and reaching the left fingertips up toward the sky. Coming once again into that balancing table. So reaching the left fingertips forward, finding your balance. Right foot extends behind you. Gazing down toward the ground. Maybe pointing and flexing through the back foot if you're still needing a bit more movement. And last breath. Slowly and with control coming back to tabletop. And then we're gonna inhale, gaze up toward the sky, arching through the back. And then exhale, rounding through the spine, gaze towards your belly button. A few more rounds of cat-cow at your own pace. Find your way back to neutral spine, and we're gonna walk the hands out to come to puppy pose. Hips should stay above your knees as you allow your chest to drift towards the mat, really opening up the shoulders and the back, allowing your forehead to be heavy as you take three deep breaths. If you're ready to come out of puppy pose, slowly walk your hands back towards your knees, finding an all fours position and tucking your toes. We're gonna lift the knees up off the mat ever so slowly coming into a downward dog, giving your body plenty of room here, especially if this is early in the morning, keeping a nice bend in your knees as you pedal out the feet, stretching through the bottoms of the feet and the toes adding any other movement here that feels good, whether you wanna roll the ankles or point and flex or take a twist. And we're gonna come into some inchworms. I don't actually know if that's what they're called, but that's what I like to think of them as. So when you're ready, we're gonna inhale forward into plank, curling through the upper spine. And then exhaling, we're gonna shift the body weight back, bending through the knees and then lifting up through the hips, down dog. Again, coming forward into plank, bending the knees, lifting the hips up, down dog. Couple more like this. Take them at your own pace. If you wanna take it really, really slow and feel the muscles working, I highly recommend it. Just bringing some mobility and some flexibility into your spine, waking up through the body. And wherever you are, make your way back to Downward Dog and slowly walk your hands towards your feet to come into a rag doll. So grasping opposite elbows, allowing your body to hinge forward, all the tension melting out of the top of your head and adding a little sway from side to side if that feels good.
Go ahead and release your hands down to the mat or to your shins, and then slowly uncurl your body, coming up to a standing position. Big shoulder roll at the top. Inhaling to reach your fingertips up toward the sky, giving yourself a back bend. And then exhale, arms down to your sides. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhaling, fingertips up toward the sky. And exhaling, rolling one vertebra at a time, all the way down walking your hands out to find a downward dog. And let's do a flow. So on your next inhale, reach your right toes up toward the sky, coming into three-legged dog. And then exhale to step that right foot between the hands, strong through the right leg to lift your upper body into a standing crescent lunge, opening through the chest, fingertips reaching up to the sky. And on your next exhale, opening up, shifting the back foot to come into a warrior two, gaze over the right fingertips. And then we're gonna come into a bind, so interlace your fingertips behind your back, fists drawing towards the ground as you open through the chest. Deep breath in, and exhaling to find warrior two, inhaling to cartwheel the hands down towards the mat, lowering the left knee onto the ground and then reaching the fingertips up toward the sky for a low lunge. Coming into lizard pose, placing your hands on the inside of your right foot, enjoying the stretch or if you want a little bit more, coming down onto your forearms, rolling onto the knife edge of that right foot. Deep breaths, this one's intense. And if you're down on your forearms, plant your hands on the mat again. We're gonna come into a twist. So reaching the right hand up toward the sky, lengthening the body. And if you'd like, reaching back and grabbing the left foot to come into a quad stretch. Awesome. Unravel yourself, planting your hands on the mat tucking the back toes, lifting your hips to come back to downward dog, pedaling in place here. And on your next inhale, reaching the left toes up toward the sky, three-legged dog. And exhaling, planting the left foot between the hands, reaching the fingertips up toward the sky, crescent lunge. Left knee should be tracking outwards, don't let it fall towards the midline. Inhaling to rotate the back foot, warrior two. Shoulders away from your ears. And then coming into a bind, interlacing the fingertips behind you, standing nice and tall. Releasing your hands, coming into warrior two extending through the fingertips and then rotating your hands down to the mat, dropping the back knee, coming into a low lunge. And then we're gonna come into lizard, so placing your hands on the inside of your left foot. Staying here if that's enough of a stretch or if you'd like, coming down onto your forearms allowing your left foot to roll onto its outer edge to deepen the stretch. And walking up to your hands again, coming into a twist, or going straight into the quad stretch if you forgot about the twist, like I did. Releasing the left foot if you've caught the bind, planting your hands on the mat, and stepping back into a downward dog. We're gonna finish this one off with some chaturangas. Inhaling to prepare, exhaling to wave your body forward, inhaling in high plank, exhaling lowering down all the way or half the way, and inhaling to find an upward facing dog or cobra. 
Exhaling strong through the arms as you press back to down dog and you've got two more just like that. Take them nice and slow. All right, I'm on my last one. Join me. Inhaling forward to plank. Exhaling, lowering down nice and strong. Inhaling to push into upward facing dog. And exhaling, shifting your body weight back. Downward facing dog. Great job. Walking your feet up to meet your hands at the top of your mat. Enjoying one last breath in forward fold and then bending the knees, slowly rolling your body up to standing, fingertips reaching up toward the sky. And exhale, cactus arms, elbows drawing down and back. And we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I actually made a friend who was sitting in his car watching me throughout this video. I think I have a new subscriber. <laughs> anyway, please leave me a comment below and let me know where you're watching this video. I always love to read those. And don't forget to like and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this one. All right, see you again soon. Bye.